Hello everyone, my name is Chip and I'm the race driver of the 1965 Alfa Romeo Spider Veloce number 101. So last weekend we raced the Donington Historic Festival, which is a major classic car race event. We looked after an, uh, a client race car, a 1968 uh, GT Junior 1300. Our client came with a car uh, last week from Norway. He entrusted us with uh, doing a bit of recommissioning work and preparing it for the big event, uh, which we did in record time. Our weekend started uh, way before that, where we, we were pushed against time to get the two cars ready. So if you can imagine, even on Thursday evening, we were here until about eight o'clock at night, um, trying to, to, to get the spider ready. The, the GT Junior was all, was all done, but the Spider it took a bit more effort into it because, um, as always, being our, our own car, we, uh, we kind of left it a bit late. During the winter, we went through a series of rebuilds, which included taking the engine and the gearbox out. Uh, another upgrade that we did was um, to redo the pods where the side mirrors sit on. In the past, we've noticed that we get quite a lot of vibration through the mirrors, so uh, we crafted these little brackets uh, that give the mirrors a lot more adjustment. We, the schedule for the weekend was uh, pretty simple. On Friday we had a day of uh, testing the cars, like a track day, where we took both cars out on track. Initially we had some electrical problems Again, with my car, with the Spider, it proved to be one of the condensers that failed. We were back up and running at, at lunchtime. I never raced at Donington before. I had quite a bit of uh, track day experience at Donington. I've done a few track days there, so I knew the layout of the circuit, but I never actually competed at Donington. So I just, my idea was to get as many laps as possible as I could. Probably did about 30, 30 odd laps, which was, was very good. The, the car, from there onwards, it was, it was brilliant. And it was the same story with the GT, GT Junior. The races on Saturday. On Saturday, we, it was only Sven that uh, raced. A uh, 50 minutes race with a pit stop, mandatory pit stop. I was operating the pit board. Uh, which was the first time I did it, but I think uh, I had plenty of experience of having seen the pit board. Then he was, he was happy, he came in at the right time. Um, he finished to pit down in his, in his uh, class. He was a very happy chap here at the end of the day. We were very well organized from the beginning. Uh, good setup with the car side by side and being able to work on them on the, on the same time. Um, the, the technicians, very well trained and experienced. Uh, they supported the car and they went through all the, the procedures, the scrutinizing procedure. Everything went really well on Saturday, no problems whatsoever. <laughs> on Sunday, we both raced, so Sven and I. Um, he was out in the HRDC Jerry Marshall Trophy early in the morning. His race uh, was 45 minutes. While I raced the Spider in the uh, HRDC Classic Alpha Challenge, a 30 minutes race, no pit stop this time. Pretty much as the day before, the good preparation we did the week before and building the car carefully over, over the winter paid off as both cars were 100% reliable. Over the weekend, I achieved a, a second in class uh, in the Monza class, which we competed in. Uh, so that was, that was good to see. Uh, we, I had a really good start. The, the qualifying, the session before the qualifying was, was very busy with, with again, uh, some very fast cars, TVRs, Cobras. Those are much, much faster than our, than our car. Um, and every time they pass me, it looked like we're standing still, although we're doing nearly 120 miles an hour. Um, they, they, the TVRs are incredibly fast in, in comparison to, 
to, um, to our little car. But um, we had, I had a really good start. I managed to gain a few positions at the start. It was a bit chaotic with a few cars going off, but uh, we, we held it there. So I was keeping up with, uh, with the car ahead and uh, covering some ground. When the safety car came out, I later found out that, um, well, unfortunately, one of the other cars in my class uh, went off and suffered uh, some very unfortunate damage. From there onwards, after the safety car, because the safety car stayed with us for at least five laps, uh, what felt like forever because we were doing very slow, slow speeds at that time. Um, so after the safety car, um, I caught up with the car in front, the, uh, the Turner, and we had a little battle for a few laps where I was getting quite close to him and I tried to overtake him. I went on to, to the inside on the first corner, started braking really late and catching up on the brakes. Uh, although initially my overtake attempt was not successful, uh, on the, on the follow-up lap I managed to complete the maneuver and gain the position. And after that uh, I just had to bring it home, which, which we did on track, both of us. Um, his race unfolded pretty simple. There was quite a few cars that were unable to finish the race and he took advantage of that as he finished 25th out of 45 entrants, which, which is pretty respectable for, for a car in a, in a race where there's been some incredibly quick cars. So he was really up against it. Now that we brought the car home, we have a list of uh, jobs that uh, went to go through a few niggly things that we were unable to fix at the racetrack. The tracking, I felt during the race that the car, the steering wheel is not quite aligned and it's not perfectly in the center, which can be a bit uh, disconnecting from uh, the, the, the racing experience. Our next outing is actually uh, next week at Brands Hatch. We're testing on Friday and we're supposed to be racing uh, with a bit of a lack. We're supposed to be racing uh, on the Sunday. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned uh, for our next racing adventure. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on to the next one.